Hey you guys, we are working on some recursive formulas today for these arithmetic sequences, okay? What makes these sequences and not just a random list of numbers? Well, it is that these numbers are related to each other in some way. Because I know it's arithmetic, I might be adding the same number over and over or subtracting the same number over and over. Okay, they're related, not just randomly listed. Now, the purpose of a recursive formula is to help us find more numbers in this sequence, okay? This dot, dot, dot signifies that this sequence keeps going. It doesn't stop there. The recursive formula's purpose is to help us find more numbers in this sequence. Now, as you're doing problems like this, you're going to hear about explicit formulas as well. And you're also going to hear about geometric sequences. If you're looking for videos of those kind, I will link a video in the, or sorry, a playlist, I should say, in the corner for you. But in this video, we are focusing on a recursive formula for an arithmetic sequence, okay? So first, I need to figure out what is the pattern going on here? Well, when I look at it, I realize that I am adding nine each time, okay? So if I were in an English class, right, and someone's like, well, how do you find the next term? I would just write down well, you take the term before it and you add nine, right? If I were in English, I could just write that out with words. Your English teacher would be like, A plus, good job. But in math, we don't write things out like that, right? <laughs> we like to use math terms and math language. So how do I write, take the number before it and add nine in math language, in an equation? Well, that's what we're going to show you. We need to go over just a little bit of uh, notation terminology really fast and then it falls together pretty quickly, okay? So when you're working with these, you're gonna see a lot of A's and a lot of N's. The N refers to the place it is in line, basically, the place in the sequence. So N equals one is the first number in the sequence. N equals three is the third number in the sequence and on it goes, right? When you see A with a little number like this, a little subscript, A sub one, that's talking about the value of that number, okay? So a sub one in this case is negative four. You're also going to see a sub n quite frequently. What that is saying is plug in whatever number you want for n to find that in the sequence. So if I had a sub 100, I'm looking for the 100th term. Okay. As we write our formulas, we're going to leave a lot of things as a sub n so people can plug in what they want. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and look at this. I want us to pretend for a second that we are looking for, sorry, this fifth term, okay? So to find, this would be a sub five, right? Because this is a sub one, a sub two, three, and four. If I wanted to find that, I'm just going to add nine to 34 and get 43. All right, but pretend I don't know that and I want to find it with a formula. Well, I'm going to figure out what did I do to find that? Well, I took a sub five. Sorry, I didn't take it. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> so I'm asking, what is a sub five? A sub five is equal to, I took a sub four and added nine, right? Beautiful but I want to be able to do that for any number in the sequence. So how do I show that? I can say for whatever number you wanna find, take the one before it, but how do I say that in math language? I say it A sub of N minus one, okay? Cause isn't five minus one, four? So what this really means is the number before it and add nine, okay? Isn't that what we do? Oh my gosh. Now, in order for this, this is our recursive formula. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. But in order for this to be helpful, I need to make a note of what the first term in my sequence is. Usually I write this above, but I don't have space. So a sub one is seven, okay? Because recursive formulas are wonderful, but they do have a bit of a limitation which is to be able to find a number in the sequence, I have to know the one before it, right? In order to know the fifth term, I had to know the fourth. 
So if I want to know the hundredth term, I can find it, but I have to know the 99th, right? And to know the 99th, I have to know the 98th and so on. So yes, this will help me. And this is where we're stopping on this one for now. But if you want to learn about explicit formulas where you can just figure out whatever number in the sequence you want and you don't have to know the one before, check out that video in the corner, okay? But let's do one more. So this guy, what are we doing each time? We are subtracting six each time, okay? Subtract six, subtract six, okay? So if I wanted to tell someone how to find it, right, I would say, whatever number you want to find, right? Take the one before it, n minus one. If you want to find the 10th, you take the ninth, right? And we subtract six, okay? That is our recursive formula. And again, for it to be helpful to anybody, they need to know that the first term in this sequence is 15 right there. All right. I hope this was helpful. If you need some more videos, I will link that playlist. Thanks.